Uh, floor seats are already sold out. Talk to us about that. Uh, it's definitely a, a feeling on that my city support me. And come June, July 13th, I'm going to go in there and I'm going to beat the shit out of the dude for my city. Uh, we got like four or five different opponents that pulled out, so we ain't really got no uh, opponent yet, but we still searching. Well, can you talk to us a little bit about it? Because when it was officially announced, uh, you know, the opponent, I can't pronounce his last name, but um, Caracas or something some along. Caracas, yeah, 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 something like that. I don't um, I, word was that the reason he pulled out because you wouldn't agree to Vada test, and is there any truth behind that? that? That's a lie. Uh, he pulled out because he tried to get some more money and they weren't giving no right, more money. But he signed the contract already, so I don't. But it is what it is with that. But the fight will continue. You guys will make sure to have an opponent there July 13th. Yeah, most up. definitely. Now, uh, on the card also, uh, you got Joshua Good Jr. Uh, a lot of excitement behind him. I know you guys uh, both deal with James Prince. Talk to us a little bit about him and you know what you expect to see out of him. Uh, Josh Good Jr. He a hell of a fighter. Uh, he, he used to co-main on my card on ESPN, so uh, it's going to be an amazing card. It's going to be an amazing night. No one support me, in it, and they going to support Josh Gurr, so we definitely going to turn up. How far away we from the title shot there? After this fight, I should be fighting for a world title. Valdez? I feel like, uh, you going to call out Valdez? I want to fight Valdez, but I heard that uh, he's moving up, He's right? moving up to uh, 130. So maybe... Make yeah. Yeah, I'm hearing, I'm hearing Carl Frampton, maybe. You and, you and Carl Frampton. I that. smoke Carl Frampton. He, has, right. he hasn't looked the same. He hasn't looked the I same smoke after, after the second I, Leo fight. I smoke him. But look, I'm here supporting my brother, uh, Quinn Randall. Uh, he fight on the Charlo card. Uh, so get up in here, brother. Yeah, he a beast too, so I'm definitely here to support him. Talk to us a little bit about, about yourself, man. Uh, big stage to be here in Vegas on a big card national television. Yeah, man, it's going to be a good fight, I promise you. I promise you it's going to be a good fight. It's going to end early too, so don't take your eyes off the TV, but... I was the team captain on the USA team for the last two years. I was ranked number one in the nation, number two in the continent, number five in the world. And a lot of that is because my boy Shakur gave me some hella fire scoring, getting me ready for them international softball fighters. So it's going to be 4 0 come Sunday night. That's all I'm going to say for right now. Whoa. I'm in the quick. I'm in the quick. I'm in the quick. I just got, I believe in myself, man. I'm getting the best sparring. I've been sparring the best for years. I've been sparring, like I said, Shakur Stevenson, Terrence Crawford, Earl Spence, Jamel Charlo's been my sparring partner, Regis Progress. So I've been in there with the world's best, so, and I'm ready, so I don't care what he bringing to the table. I know what I'm bringing. Recently, you went online to talk about uh, your sparring with Jamel and Arrow and Terrence. Talk to us about what, what that was like. Obviously, all different looks, different weight classes, but talk to us about the work that you got from each and who would you say was the toughest out of the three? Ooh. Between the three? I ain't gonna lie, when I first sparred him, he frustrated me so bad because I could never get off more than one shot at a time because he knew his range so better, so good. So he helped me develop as that as well because I had a late start in this. So, but I would have to say Crawford. Crawford and Earl, okay, was the two most difficult people I ever stepped in. So that being said, <laughs> that, that, he went 50-50. I watched your interview. You went 50-50. You didn't give an answer. So that being said, you know, you haven't been in the ring with both of those gentlemen. How do you see a fight between those two guys play out between Terrence Crawford and between Errol Spence? If and when they do fight, it's going to be an epic fight. And I'm going to leave it at that. <laughs> he learned from you, so yeah. learned from you. <laughs> Let's get your name one more time. Quinn, that. My name is Quinn Quick Draw Randall. My Instagram name is Quick Draw underscore P4P. So, man, you're looking out for me. Yeah, so let's go back to last Saturday night. What was your impression of Tyson Fury? Shit, Tyson Fury is probably one of the uh, best, best heavyweights in boxing. No. Yes, he is. Yes, skill he is. wise, he skill wise, yes, he's, he is. matter of fact, skill wise, he's, he's the best heavyweight in boxing. You think he beats Deontay Wilder? I'm not gonna say he beat Deontay Wilder because Deontay Wilder got that 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 that, that power, that that real power. Like if Deontay Wilder touch you, is it's night night at any given time. So uh, I feel like they they two of the best heavyweights in boxing, and it's tip for tat with them. Do you think that? Uh, being that Tyson Fury just came here, you've been with top rank for about two years now, 16. Do you think it's uneven in terms of the promotion? What you mean? I watch TV and I'm like, Shakur Stevenson is, you remind me of my son, you look just like my son. Yeah. You remind me of my son, good looking kid. Uh, yeah, you know what I mean? Yeah, it look, looks like my son. So when I see you, I'm like, you should be at BT weekend this weekend. You should be doing something for, Jet Magazine, whatever the case may be. 
And but when Tyson Fury came over, it seemed like whole hell Tyson Fury. He's the god. When they got you, when they have you, you know what I mean? I think Bob and Top Rank, I'm not putting you on the spot. I'm, yeah. I'm not no, I get you, I get you, I get you. But I, I, I genuinely think that you have a chance to be special across both sides of the fence. You're yeah. God gifted, you're talented, you speak well. But it seems like they just keep on giving it the moment change. Yeah, I get what you're saying. Uh, it's gonna come a time. I'm probably gonna speak on that. I ain't gonna speak on too much of that right now. But uh, I understand what you're saying. But either way, I'm gonna be a star regardless. I'm gonna find. I'm gonna make my way. I ain't yeah, tripping. Feel that sense what he's talking about? Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. He I'm ain't gotta saying. speak on this shit. I can star speak. You wanna be like, <laughs> up there with Floyd Mayweather? You know where you making mass amounts of money? I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be a star regardless. I promise. I'm gonna be one of the biggest stars in boxing. Absolutely. He, he ain't gotta speak is. on it. I can speak on it. Nobody heard of Tyson Fury when he had just nine fights. My man's already finna headline his own car at nine, what, ten fights? So that says something to himself. It took Tyson Fury 20 plus fights to even get recognized. He just came to America trying to steal American fans. He already got that. He got international fans, American fans. So Do you think part, part of the issue, this is my belief, so I'm, I'm asking this question. I feel that part of the issue is that American fans do not back their own fighters, right? I agree with that. You know, they'll they back, they back the foreign fighter. They'll back the foreign fighter before anybody else, right? When we talk about the big superstars, as far as Floyd and his era, Wilder now, people pay to watch them lose. In a sense, I agree you know with that 100. And, and stars like Canelo or right. Anthony Joshua, Joshua yeah. they got countries Lomachenko, behind them. Exactly. And you and represented your country. Yeah. In the yeah. yeah. I, I understand that. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah, honestly, I agree 100. percent But I think one of the, the other ways. Of, of reversing that is through YouTube. Very powerful platforms. I think more fighters. Yeah, but they don't be, tune in unless you. you no, know, some channels are very large, but it's hard to, to get fighters to to gravitate towards this uh, uh, new way of, of building a profile. I think it's a very powerful and effective yeah, tool. But, but I'm saying being, I don't think the fans tune in or the fans don't look at you the same we'll unless you act out a certain way. If, yeah. you don't, if you don't act out a certain way, they don't tune in. They don't look at you that, that same way. Like you, Man, I'm going to say this. This is America. <laughs> you, you'll be, you'll be surprised said. with how powerful some of the YouTube platforms are. No, I agree so, with I you. Shakur, but I, if it ain't no drama up there, or I don't think black fighters have to relegate themselves to that. I think I there's other ways of doing it. But, but, I hate you probably. So that's that's your opinion. But I'm just telling you what it is. Shakur, obviously you was uh, the you was in the last Olympics 2016. You medal silver. Um, Floyd was very uh, persistent on you know wanting to sign you things of that. The reason I'm bringing up Floyd is because when he came out the Olympics in 96, there's a video interview that Dan Raphael did. He was working for USA Today at the time. He said that Floyd had the option to come out and be, you know, America's child, you know, be that good persona, but he chose not to. Do you feel that as a black fighter in America, you almost have to have a negative persona in order to become financially, like, stay, you know, well off? Because it seems like... That, that that's what helped Floyd, you know what I'm saying? Because people people weren't respecting his talent. They they were paying to watch him lose. Do you feel like that's an issue in America? And if so, how can that change? I, I think that's an issue with African American fighters. Yes. But I ain't gonna speak on I'm telling you, I ain't gonna speak on it too much, but it's an issue with African American fighters. That's how I feel. Because you can do everything right. Terrence yeah. Crawford spoke about that at the Breakfast Club interview. I don't know if you saw that. Yeah. But he spoke about how they want like, to come on, look at Terrence though. Yeah. If Terrence was acting a certain way, and, and come, let's be for real, what, what kind of star would he be? Like, if we be, if we be honest, well, if he signed with DBC, he'd be a much bigger star. I don't, I don't, I don't agree with that. I don't, I don't agree with that. that. I don't, I don't agree with that. But if he if he acted out a certain way, he would be a bigger star. I think Terrence has everything. Arrow too. If we, yeah, if, we, if, we, if Arrow acted out a certain way, Arrow would be a bigger star. So and that's facts. How do you plan to change that perception to his point? How do you plan to change that perception? Or is it cool just being you and let, and let the people come to you how they come? I don't know. I know I know one way or another. I'm going to figure it out. So I, it's going to happen. I ain't He's, tripping. Yeah. I got a nice smile and... Uh, <laughs> No, no, you hey, right though. The world, the world, the world like me. So no, you right. one way or another, I'm gonna figure it out, and I can fight. You know, it's crazy because I, I, I feel fight. like a big issue with a lot of these young fighters. They don't know how to speak. You get what I'm saying? When the cameras is in front of them, they don't know how to how to flow a conversation, how to conduct an interview. Yeah. You know, that's part. That that's a great thing that you're able to do. 
but you know, not just are you working with top top rank, but James Will, having worked with some of the biggest. Yeah. How do you feel? You know, not just athletes, but you know, musicians and celebrities in the world. Yeah, you gotta you gotta uh, get into that. Yeah, I feel you on that. I feel how, that. How do you feel he can help you? You know, to, to take you to that superstar. Yeah, it's going. Uh, he, he got uh, other rappers like what, Drake, and he, he he tied in with a lot of. Uh, Rapper, so I feel like that's gonna help a lot, and I'm gonna try to break into that part of it also. How much longer do you have at 26? Comfortable. Uh, after this uh, next fight, uh, if I fight for a world title, I'm probably gonna fight for a world title and make a defense, and I'm moving up to 130. So, so, so next year, this time. Huh? Yeah. Okay. So next year, I should be fighting 130. So, so Oscar Valdez, you have to make it title option. Yeah. And then you'll fight. Yeah. If not, I'll fight Oscar Valdez. I ain't. I don't think he wants to. Yeah, I don't think so either. <laughs> I don't think he wants to. What were your thoughts on his most recent performance? I, I ain't watching. Yeah, nah, I, I ain't watching. I, I felt like a little like, I don't want to say disgusted, but I'm like, can we get a picture with you? I was like, I was like, damn, like, uh, you know, that, that, that that's a fight that I wanted to watch for yourself because I believe that you could take that victory in the way it's already. Yeah, I'm going to go that way. Absolutely. Alright, Mr. Boy, thank you for your time, Sam. Yeah, I'm gonna have to tell you, man. Great shit that y'all did in court.